The CISSP exam uses computerized adaptive testing, or CAT for short. But what is an adaptive exam? Hi, I'm Michael Altridge, Senior Content Developer with Boson Software, and I'm here to tell you about the CISSP CAT exam. Most certification exams are linear. They will generally have a set number of questions and you are scored based on the number of questions that you can answer correctly. The more questions you answer correctly, the more points you will receive, and if you score enough points, you will pass. Adaptive exams have a variable number of questions. The CISSP exam, for example, can be 100 to 150 questions in length. So why are there a variable number of questions? Because the exam is going to stop as soon as the testing algorithm is confident that you're going to pass or fail. If you do extremely well, the exam is going to stop at question 100 and you'll pass. If you do poorly, the exam is also going to stop at question 100 and you'll fail. But if you're right on the line between passing and failing, the exam is probably going to go all the way to the end to question 150. Adaptive exams are also different from linear exams in that you are not scored based on the number of questions that you can answer correctly. Instead, you are scored based on the difficulty of questions that you can answer correctly. In fact, ISC2 has revealed that all test takers, whether they pass or fail, will get about 50% of the questions right. The only difference is the difficulty of questions that they can answer correctly. So how does the testing algorithm measure difficulty? Well, every time that you answer a question correctly, the exam will increase the difficulty level by asking you a more difficult question. And every time that you answer incorrectly, the exam is going to give you an easier question. So if it feels like the CISSP exam is beating you up, or if you feel like you're completely unprepared for what the CISSP exam is throwing at you, that can actually be a good sign. A lot of people start stressing out when they see question 101. They start doubting themselves because they didn't pass right at question 100. But stressing out is the worst thing that you can do. Doubt is just going to distract you from focusing on the question that's right in front of you. Don't rush. Answer each question carefully and your exam could end in success at any time. Here's another thing that most people don't know about the CISSP exam. Let's say that you're on question 145 and you have only one minute to go. Should you rush through the last five questions? Absolutely not. If you run out of time, the CISSP exam will switch to the ROOT rule. ROOT stands for run out of time. If you run out of time and you've answered at least 100 questions, then the testing algorithm is going to measure your last 75 scored questions. If you have consistently stayed above the passing standard for those 75 questions, you will pass the exam. This is why it is so important to not rush through questions. Our XM Max for CISSP practice exams are not adaptive. So why did we make our practice exams linear? Two reasons. First, the exam is long, and we want you to experience pacing yourself on a full three-hour, 150-question exam. Second, we want you to be able to answer all the questions, not just the hard ones. After all, if you start missing the easy questions, then it's going to be difficult for the testing algorithm to move you back up into the hard difficulty zone again. As always, be sure to study our explanations. Know why the right answer is right and why the wrong answers are wrong. What you need to know is in those explanations. With the help of Boson's practice exams, you'll be able to answer any question that the CISSP adaptive exam throws at you. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe and follow us on youtube.com/bosonsoftware.